All right, I'm going to go over how to uh, create your blog. So, um, obviously, if you've changed your home page like we have in this example right now, um, you no longer have a blog. So, here's how to create one. So, we go to our dashboard, and under pages, let's add a new page and let's just call it blog just so that we can reference it later on. And we publish this page. Pretty easy. Um, the next step is under settings and reading and as I mentioned earlier in the home page video uh, this top option front page displays um, we move it to a static page and we've set our home page and now we need to set our post page so it should be pretty easy you just find your blog page that you've created click save changes and now if we view our blog page it displays our latest posts so pretty easy. Um, so let's start with the next thing, which would be posting blog posts. So let's go ahead and make one post right now and just do sample blog post. And let's upload a photo. I have one right here. And if you want your photo to be resized like in our live preview, we're going to set it as a featured image. There was a button down here. It was text actually, just text link. It says use this featured image. I clicked yes. And you'll notice also that the featured image is down here. And you can swap it by clicking remove or adding more. And then you can add your category if you want to have a category. And let's click publish now and look at what we've created. So now if we re refresh this page, we have our image that's resized for you. If we click on the post, we can enlarge a larger image. Um, pretty cool. Let's go into our text. So if you just typed a bunch of text, it will all get pulled into the home page and be a big giant box. But um, what you can do is cut off the text that's displaying on the home page. So uh, let me just show you an example. So this should display on the index page then all other text will display on the post page and uh, so right now if I update this and we click our view our blog both text displays on the index page to cut it off all we need to do is select this insert more tag so if I click it it'll make this dotted line I click update now I'm going to refresh the page, only that text displays on the index page, but then when I view the posts, they both display. So, uh, pretty easy. So let's go ahead and go back to our blog, and let's create another blog post, and this post is going to be a post of the video. So, video blog post. We can type in our text if we want and cut off the text. Add a category if we want. Let's call this one video. And the video embed code now. So instead of a featured image, uh, we won't use a featured image. We'll just type in embed code. And let's go to Vimeo. I have a tab open. So you pick your video, you click share, and it grab gives you embed code. You just copy that. Let's go ahead and copy that embed code out and paste it right in here. And you don't need to adjust the width or the height, it'll automatically get adjusted for you. Let's click publish, refresh, and now we have a video blog post and then our sample blog post. Now, there's a bunch of things you can do now. Um, by default, your blog title will be our blog. You can change that under appearance and theme options in our theme options panel. Let's go ahead and go to our basic settings and uh, there's a couple things you can do to your blog change the blog title so let's just change it to latest news as an example you can also make it a full width blog or full width blog post page if you want and you can also customize um, the view full detail blog the link to more information so let's go ahead and save these options I now made it a full width and everything will get resized for you very easy and our page title is updated so that's how to use the blog